Thanks for watching another quick tip video by Go Engineer. My name is Bruce Schaller, and this quick tip video is going to be on Component Preview found in 2016. It's new functionality in 2016 that enables you to assemble things quicker with a little more ease in picking surfaces. So let me show you how this works. I'll first go in and use it on this sub-assembly. I'm going to use the new breadcrumbs to go in and get the menu command that's called Component Preview Window in the shortcut that comes up. So I will go ahead and pick that, and it goes ahead and automatically puts the subassembly into another window. So if I want to pick on things, that makes it easier. I can keep the model there and just use the same control method with the control key to select multiple objects at once, and I can go ahead and insert that into there. Now, if I want to come up and select another surface like this, I can just come right back over to this window, select that surface, come over to this window, select this surface, and again, the same assembly commands pop up, so I can go ahead and click there, and you can see how easy that component preview window works. I'll show you this again using another technique and another new piece of functionality that's new inside of 2016. Let me go in and open this. Again, using my breadcrumbs, I'll get to the open subassembly command. And I want to go in and take this nut and bolt and put it into this other area on this same pivot link here. So in order to do that, I can now go ahead and window what I want to copy and use the control C and the control V to paste. And it'll keep mates as, as well in there. So a real easy way to copy sub-assemblies inside another assembly now, just with the edit, copy, edit, paste, or control C, control V. So from here, I want to go in and use the component preview window again. So I'll click on here and go to the component preview window. And then I can go ahead and select what I need off of this to mate to here. And as I'm coming over here, you see the first component now that you select to mate with inside of 216 will automatically be transparent. So that makes it really easy for me to continue. Select this surface, select this surface, and go ahead and make those coincident. So a real easy way of using component preview to start mating parts that might have been a little harder to mate together in the beginning. With a little extra bonus in there, I showed you how to do the control C and control V to copy and paste a sub assembly into the same assembly you're in. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching another quick tip video from Go Engineer.